Oh my God, it's a double rainbow. <laughs> Recently I embarked on a challenge. About a week ago I decided that I wanted to see what would happen if I lived off of $1 meals for an entire week. So $3 a day for an entire week, $21 for the whole week. But I didn't want to just cook crap. I didn't want to just live off ramen and hot dogs. People are like, oh, I've done it before. I eat hot dogs and white bread. No, I'm talking, I wanted to eat like some of the best food I've ever made in my entire life so I could show you guys how to blow people's freaking minds and be like, yeah, this meal cost me a buck. Can you believe it? It cost me a buck. And that is exactly what I did. So I went to the market. I really planned everything out. I went for the first time and I kind of looked to see what were the possibilities. I even made a spreadsheet. Can you believe it? I made a spreadsheet. I haven't done that since I was a wee wee boy. And I'm not a wee wee boy, a wee wee boy. No, 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 <laughs> that was getting a little too far. So I went to the market, got everything I could get, and then I just started cooking. I had no idea what to expect, but it was one of the best challenges I've ever done in my entire life. I suggest you give it a try. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I cooked right now. I'm gonna show you what the process was like, how I found free food, how I survived, and how I had an amazing time and blew people's minds with the food I was eating. So that way I can show you guys how to do the same thing. Eat cheap, eat amazing food, love your freaking life, have a great time. Here we go. First thing I did was I grabbed some eggs. To me, they're important. If having two eggs a day, uh, even though I don't get to have much meat, that's a nice little breakfast. That could be a little snack. Uh, I, I mean, you get a dozen eggs, so it's not quite two two eggs, but pretty much two eggs a day. Uh, then I went to the dried section. I know people think that canned foods are cheaper, but it's not the case. Dried is the way to go. And you're getting beans. I got black beans. I got garbanzo beans, which are chickpeas, and I got these yellow split peas. And they were all really cheap. The peas were like $1.09 for a whole bag. And once you soak them, you're getting a lot more. So as a can, even if the price is the same for a can, you're only getting say 16 ounces. Whereas you get a 16 ounce bag of beans, when you soak it, you're getting a lot more. It's gonna double or triple in size. So definitely get that. It's a little extra time, but all you have to do is soak them and then cook them, they'll be delicious. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Chickpeas are great. You can roast them, make like croutons. I did that, let's see what, so then I went to produce and the produce was definitely the most important thing but on the way there I passed the meat and the whole time I was assuming I wouldn't be able to afford a meat but I saw some cheap meat and I ended up going back and getting uh, some chicken thigh which is great, it was only like 250 for uh, a little over a pound of chicken thigh so that'll get me some chicken, I don't have to be vegetarian for a week, thank the lord but the produce was a big thing and I knew potatoes and onions would be cheap so I went to the potato spot and I saw the potatoes, they were actually on sale, which is like a hallelujah, bing, bing, bing. So I got these potatoes, five pounds for two dollars. I mean, is that a freaking steal or what? And then I had to be a little more strategic. I saw the cabbage, I started weighing it out. I didn't even know there was a scale in my market, but first time I was really weighing, really being aware and paying attention to the exact prices of things. So I managed to get the cabbage, like a big head bastard for about two dollars, which is nice. And then I had to get a little bit even more specific. So I saw the scallions, and I wasn't gonna buy scallions, but I did want to have some extra flavor. Scallions are delicious, and then it, it hit me, I remembered. For a dollar, I can buy a whole thing of scallions, and I can keep them in water, and they will continue to grow. If you just put them in a little bit of water, they will keep growing. So that's like, it, it's like free food almost, right? You can't not get that. Uh, I broke off a little knob of ginger. I knew that I couldn't really have much ginger, but I figured like 30 cents for a little knob is gonna be a nice little treat in case I want a little extra flavor. I saw a bag of carrots for a dollar, so I had to get them because carrots are delicious in almost everything. I managed to get a sweet potato, just one. They were cheap, so I got one for like 50 cents. I got a couple peaches, so I got two peaches. Um, they were each about 30 cents, so I wanted to have a little extra sweetness. But the banana was the big thing. I got six bananas. Um, I wanted to have just about one every day, but I couldn't find yellow bananas. So there are green bananas now. Hopefully throughout the days they'll get more and more yellow, which that's in theory that's what they do. Um, but I can use the green bananas too. You can cook with green bananas. Um, but bananas are really cheap, 39 cents a pound um, at this market. Bread, interestingly enough, I will not be eating this week. I didn't know this, but I assumed that bread would be really, really cheap. And sure, you can get like two rolls or so for a dollar. Um, but the cheapest bread I saw, like for Wonder Bread, like the crappiest bread of them all, which I don't even know how it is bread, was $2 for a whole loaf. Which, I mean, $2 doesn't sound like that much, but 
when you're working with $21, you gotta be really cautious about what you're spending. So I saw instead tortillas for 99 cents for a whole pack of tortillas. That is like some straight up, I can fry them and make tortilla chips. I can use them for tacos. I can put them in things to thicken stuff up. I can make a soup. So hell yeah, I'm going with that. Also, rice. I imagine white rice would be the cheapest, but I found a bag of brown rice for $1.19. That's gonna be great. I can just obviously make rice, but also if you soak the rice, you blend it up, you can make like rice pancakes. There's a lot of cool stuff with that. One thing that I decided to get was I wanted some spice, right? And my first thought was, what if instead of getting vinegar, because the vinegar is so important, what if I just get like a thing of pickles? And then I'll have the vinegar in there, um, or I could get like pickled jalapenos, and then you get like the jalapenos, and then you have the vinegar you can use to cook. When I went to check it out, it was actually more expensive than I thought. So I saw a big thing of vinegar, it was like 59 or 79 cents. So I got a ton of vinegar because I need the vinegar in my life. Um, but then I got some jalapenos. So with the jalapenos, I can just chop them up, I can use them, I can pickle some of them, I can use them for spice. But I wanted to have ginger and I wanted to have scallions and jalapenos just to get extra spice. I looked into buying some spices and the cheapest thing I saw was like cumin for a dollar. But I realized at the end of the day, like that's, it's nice to have the spice and by all means you could do it. But I didn't necessarily want to sacrifice a dollar, which surprisingly is like a lot of food. You know, I got a bag of carrots for a dollar for just some cumin. I'd rather have the carrots and you can get the natural flavors. And there's ways to enhance the flavor in foods. So I did that. I also picked up a couple limes, just two limes. You know, I was starting to get creative with like buying little things, like a little knob of ginger, a couple limes, a couple peaches, just for those extra, you know, 50 cents here, 50 cents there. Um, but in the end, I spent 18 cents below $21. So it's 11 a.m. and I already did my shopping for the challenge, but I haven't eaten yet, which I know sounds strange, but I really wanted to pick up my knives and kind of get the video out prepped up. So I've kind of skipped on breakfast, which still gives me three meals, but first thought, just walking around being hungry, it's really interesting when you've challenged yourself and you've already bought all the food. I'm glad I bought it all because if I didn't, I'd probably be stupid and spend like four bucks on a chocolate bar and just screw myself. But I've already spent my $21. So I'm walking around and I'm starving. And I'm like, oh, you know it'd be great? Just some peanuts and some chocolate and some raisins, like a little snack. And I'm like, wait a minute. I can't, for a week, I can't eat any of that stuff. I can only eat the things that I bought. Um, which is gonna be interesting. Although I might try to sneak into like a Costco and just get some free samples because I figure showing you guys how to get some free food along the way too doesn't hurt. Stick around. Salt, pepper, and oil I'm not really including as ingredients. They're just there, so I'm just using them however I want. But anyway, I took some dried beans and I just soaked them overnight. We're gonna see them in another video. And I wanted to have like a nice meal because it's already getting pretty late in the day. So I took some potatoes, I cut up some tortillas, carrots, scallions, and eggs, and kind of made this like egg scramble sort of thing. It was like an egg potato omelet, and then I, I had found some ketchup packets at a local deli, so I just kind of squeezed them all over. That was a nice little treat, you know, wherever you can find little free things, it always helps. It goes a long way. So then I wanted to make a pickling solution, so I took some sugar in the raw that I found at Starbucks, some salt and vinegar, and a little bit of water, and just brought that to a boil and uh, we'll let that cool for a little bit. And while that's happening, just add some carrots and onions to my brown rice. And then I have my solution, I had some like carrots and different things, so I'm just kind of pickling some vegetables, I'm making some rice, I'm having a good time, doing my thing. I'm deboning this chicken, I'll save the bones, because the bones will go a long way to make a nice like sauce or a stock. And I just fried the chicken on the skin side for a while, and I cut up some cabbage, and once I finished, I was frying that chicken. Once I finished frying the chicken though, I save all that fat and the cabbage just goes right in. A little salt and pepper and you don't need oil because the cabbage is just enjoying the love juices of that chicken. Grated a little ginger in there. This is like a little to-go thing. So I put some rice down, I put some of that cabbage, I put some chicken, and then I hit it with my pickled carrots. And I just have a nice little delicious meal to go. You know what I'm saying? The hardest part about this challenge for me is eating something sweet after every meal. It's like my favorite thing to do. Kind of just completes the meal, even it's a little taste. And I sort of, I don't say screwed up, but I didn't really factor in much sweetness. I have a little bit of fruit. I've taken some sugar packets from Starbucks, but I don't really have much sweet. So I'm walking down the street feeling a little down because I want my sweetness. I just passed, they were giving out free, like, this is like this pumpkin 
peanut butter smoothie sample. I took two of them and it just brightened my day the second I touched it. I love my sweets. Thank you, Lord. I'm supposed to go to my Shaolin Monk Kung Fu training tonight and I should be going. I'm a little upset that I'm not, but ever since I got to take a taste of that little smoothie, it's got me on this kick. I'm not gonna be in, uh, I'm probably not gonna be in Manhattan for the rest of the week, maybe like once or so. So I wanna take a chance to go around and explore some places like Whole Foods. Just see what I can get for free. Because that's a good thing to take advantage of. I'm trying to save a little money. Nothing wrong with grabbing a couple samples here, a couple samples there. So I just went into Taco Bell to see what they had and I got a ton of spice packets. Uh, mild, even got a, I never saw this before, the Salsa Verde. They got their fire and hot, but the Salsa Verde is a new treat for me. I haven't been to Taco Bell in actually years. Hello there. So I took some sugar packets that I had and I heated them up near the raw sugar so they turned into like, look at this, an instant sort of caramel, like a crispy sugary caramel thing. Tossed in some peaches to put it on a tortilla. That was like a two minute treat. Oh. Hmm. 